Hey everyone, so this is how you memorize numbers. So memorizing numbers is really straightforward and simple. All you have to do is assign a letter to a number and then the letter gets turned into a word and the word gets turned into an image and the image is what you store in your memory palace to remember the number. So it sounds complicated but it's really simple and this is how you do it. We're gonna use the major system. The major system is basically just an assignation of numbers of letters to the numbers zero through nine. And then from there, you create words and the combination of numbers creates different words, which we'll get into once we assign zero to nine. Okay, so here it is. So zero corresponds to the letter S. Now you could remember that like zero looks sort of like a snake eating its own tail. So zero is S. The number one corresponds to the letter T or D. And the reason why some numbers are assigned two different letters is just because it's easier to make more words. And I think the letters they've chosen are somehow, they figured out which letters can create the largest amount of words. So this is why they've chosen these letters. So one is T or D. You can remember that you can't make a T without a straight line. Or you could remember it like TD Bank. TD Bank is a bank. Banks run the world. They're number one. So that's how you remember one. T or D. Number two is N. That's easy to remember because two looks like an N turned up. Like if you turn two on its side, it looks like an N. Three is M as in Mary. So that's the same thing. Three on its side looks like an M. Four is R. So four, the way I remember R as four is that four looks like a chair. The number looks like a chair. My favorite chair is a lazy boy recliner. So four is R recliner looks like a chair, recliner, four is R. Okay, five is L. So five to me looks like, and you can come up with your own way of remembering this system, this is just mine. I've written down below um, the assignation of numbers to the letter, so so you can, you can come up with your own system, but this is just mine. Five to me looks like something with, you, it looks like something you push, it looks like it has wheels. So to me, L, What's something you push that's L, a lawnmower. So to me, five is an image of a lawnmower. So if I were to, rem if I had to remember my parking spot and I was in parking spot five, I would remember it like my car has turned into a lawnmower. And then that's how I'll remember which parking spot's mine. Okay, six is CH, the sound sh or sh. So to me, I remember six looks like, from an aerial view, six looks as if, or no, sorry, six looks like an aerial view of like a, a champagne glass that you're swishing. I know you normally swish a wine glass, but because sh champagne, I picture it champagne. So that's how I remember six. Six is champagne because six looks as if the liquid's swirling around a glass. Seven is the letter, are the letters K and G. So I remember this seven sort of looks like a wall meeting a ceiling. Seventh heaven, okay, so heavenly. For whatever reason, I think of Kenny G in heaven. I don't know if Kenny G is alive or dead. I'm sorry to say, for whatever reason, that's just, you'll find when you're remembering, when you're doing this work, that like you have all these unconscious associations that'll just pop up, but I really encourage you to go with those. Even if they don't make sense, for some reason your brain has attached these two items together, it's fused them into whatever image pops up first in your head. There's some sort of associative fusion happening there and you should go with it because you're gonna so much more, it's gonna be so much easier to remember what your brain comes up with first because it's already there. You don't have to fabricate anything. So seven from K or G, I remember that is Kenny G in heaven because seven, seventh heaven, it looks like a wall attaching to a ceiling. Number eight is attached to V or F. So I remember this by eight to me looks like eyeballs. Eyeballs looking in a mirror, it would see maybe eyebrows shaped like in a V like that. Or I remember F in a bathroom, there's farting. So eight is V or F. Nine, last number is P or B. So I remember that like nine looks sort of like a, a stick person without arms or legs. Or you could think of it with for B is that it's someone who's standing there and they're pregnant but they don't know it yet. So nine is P or B. So again, those are down below if you wanna look yourself. So 
if you want to remember a single number, you would, whichever image you assign to the letter of that number, so say for a five, five is L, you've associated five L with like, I don't know, for whatever reason, maybe limousine is what you, how you remember L. So if you had to remember, um, the item you need is on aisle five. These are just really simplified, like nothing, these don't, don't even really count as how you can use this tool to get the most out of your memory. But just for example's sake, you need to remember aisle five is the location of, you know, diapers or whatever. So you would remember five limousine. Maybe you would imagine getting out of a limousine in the middle of Canadian Tire or something. And that's how you would remember aisle five. So now we're going to get into remembering double digits and then triple digits so double digits all you do is that say um, is that you create a word from the two numbers so say you want to remember the number 47 4 is R 7 is K or G so uh, R so that would be R and then either K or G so you, we'll do R G R G make what word does that make it makes hundreds of words but for now we'll just we'll just pick a word reg so if you need to remember um page 47 is what you need to turn to for your class presentation or something like that then you would come up with the word reg and then you would place that image in such a way that it's tied to your textbook so you would picture maybe there's this dirty oil stained brightly colored rag like sitting on your textbook and make it really basically you want to make images that you would notice if you saw them in real life so you are much more likely to notice a rag that has some sort of weird substance on it or is like maybe folded in an interesting pattern than a rag that's just plain beige your your eye would just probably glaze over that in real life so when you're doing your memory work you want to make the images images that in real life you would really stand back and take notice of that item so that's why it's best to make them as absurd and maybe even obscene obscene works for memory I don't know why we're just we're all just a bit obscene I guess so anyhow so that's two digit two digit numbers three digit numbers you also are going to combine each of those letters to make a single word and use that single word as one image for your memory palace. And the reason is that this is much faster than having, if you have a three digit like 333, three, three, it's much easier than 3 is M, right? So then it's much easier than having to come up with three separate M words and putting three different words into three different images instead with the three digit technique you're going to make one word into one image so three m's that's mmm so that could be uh um three m's uh that could be um i don't know for me i'm right now i'm thinking mama martino's because that's three M's in the name, and I love that restaurant. So for me, 333 would be Mama Martino's. So if I need to remember 333 is like the number of, what would I need to remember that number for? The number of beans in the jar at the fair, I don't know. I would, I would picture that jar being on like a huge silver platter at, my favorite restaurant mama martino's so that's how that works and i've also included a list of zero to 999 of words you don't have to memorize this but you could just use it to see how how they are making words from their numbers so that's just a quick video on how to memorize numbers i hope it helped you and happy memorizing bye have a good day